If I speak in the languages of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Petey. Rach. Wow, we finally made it to our special day. Since the day I met you, I knew that this day would be here. As I sit here and write these words to you, I can't help but to still get butterflies thinking back to the first time I met you. I knew instantly that you were special, but I had no clue that you were my soulmate. There were no intentions that we would even be friends, but that I would just see you around the gym and speak. I began to ask about you often, and I quickly began to realize that I wanted to know you more. Remember how I would always take Baxter for walks around your apartment, just hoping that I'd see you? Seeing you smile would be the best feeling that I'd ever had. And I still get that feeling every time you wrap your arms around me and greet me with a big kiss and a smile. So for my wife, I promise that I'll do whatever I can to make the future the best one for us. I promise to always support you and stick by your side for the rest of our days. I promise to always love you. I will always put my all into this marriage. And I promise to always be the best husband that I can possibly be. I promise to love you unconditionally and always try my best to show you every single day how grateful I am for you. Peter and Rachel, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God and all who are assembled here by the authority invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Woo! Peter and Rachel, as long as you love one another, your marriage will never fail. Because love never fails.